We're just coming ashore. Hello! <laughs> so we're just coming ashore at Padang for the last time before we head off. Um, I think we're going to head off this afternoon and head out to the playgrounds area. Find some waves hopefully. And we're going to meet up with Paradise and see them before we leave. It's our last day in Padang. And we've got our grab driver here. Hey. And that's it, we're all ready to go. Yeah, I heading up. Got some pizza. We've got our last bit of pizza and McDonald's before we get back to our fish. <laughs> Ikan. And Nasi. <laughs> back to Nasi. <laughs> so this has been the easiest way for us to get around in Padang, uh, using Grab. Here's one of our Indonesian Grab drivers. What is your name? Rido. Rido. Call me Rido. And this is Padang, your home? Yes. Yeah. It's my hometown. Hometown. And he's dropping us back down to Teluk Bayo. Teluk Bayo. And that's it, it's our last day. And uh, we're back out to the Mentawai Islands. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous from camera. We've got to get the camera off. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you want bintang? You want bintang? Mm -hmm. bintang. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Padang was another friendly stop, but we can't wait to get out of here. So we're just pulling anchor at Padang and we're going to be heading off as soon as Lee scrubbed that chain. I think it's probably a bit gross. We ended up staying in Padang for two weeks, so the chain's probably a bit gross. The water's not the best. As soon as we scrub the chain, pull anchor, and we'll be away, back out to the islands. Yay! Is there a growth on it? It's just yeah. Uh, um, yeah maybe a little barnacle starting. Oh, just in time. She's up, Cap. Oh, she was dug right in. We were so muddy down there. Like, must have been a couple of foot down. In so mud. gross. Um, yeah, what have we got? About a 15, 16 hour passage. We should get there sometime mid-morning. Daylight hours is what we like. That's why we're leaving in the night time so we don't actually get there in the dark. And uh, hopefully it's a nice passage tonight. Not a lot of wind. We'll just take our time. No rain. No rain would be lovely. That big heavy downpour would be amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Mud like all that out there. <laughs> so we're heading out and this guy just decides to let his uh let his net out straight in front of Catalpa. We've uh, just had to hang, hang a left to go around his net, which is just here in the water. It's pretty funny. Luckily, we saw. Could have been worse. This is how we store our plastics aboard Catalpa, and this is our dinner tonight. Pizza Hut. Not the usual. It's about 3 a.m. 
just about to go make Lee up. Done my time. So I'm hoping to get up. Uh, we've got no wind. We had a little bit of wind when we were motoring and sailing. Like motor, had the sailor and the motor going. But uh, I just dropped out about half an hour ago. So I wound the sail in and uh, we're just motoring. We've still got about 10 hours till we get to our anchorage. And um, yeah, it's, it's really nice. We've got a full moon, so it's quite bright. You can see quite clearly. Um, yeah, it started when I was on watch four hours ago there was a few fishing boats and uh, there was one not lit up very well it was a tiny little light and because the moon was out I managed to be able to see the outline of it so it was pretty good because it was closer than I thought as usual. I've been listening to um, podcasts, uh, the medical medium guy and yeah, it's really interesting some interesting stuff but yeah I'm ready for a sleep so I'm gonna go wake up late how's your morning been my darling oh it's like a mill pond I'd say milk pond but we're being corrected <laughs> mill pond is so glary I can hardly keep my eyes open funny story I don't know why or where this came from but Lee and I both thought when the water's like this and it's really glassy we thought the expression was milk pond and we I never really questioned it I just kind of thought it was one of those things that doesn't make sense anyway Jay's just been on board and maybe we did tell this story already but he informed us it's called a mill pond I like the milk pond sounds better yeah Mill pond still doesn't make sense, so we're gonna run with milk. It's smooth as silk, just like milk. <laughs> anyway, we've had a pretty easy passage, but we've made it the whole way. Snow we're wind. We're in the doldrums. We're in the close dold. to the equator. The doldrums. We arrived at Tua Puat. Tua Puat, is that what it is? I think it's how you say it, don't know. But uh, I just jumped in the water and had a swim and it was incredible because um, it's been a while since I've had a swim, so I'm happy. And uh, we're going to see if we can go find Paradise, see if they're still here, because we thought where they'd be, they're not. So uh, we'll go see if we can find them. And then we're gonna go into town and get some veggies because I didn't get some avocados. There was a few things I didn't get in Padang. And I know they've got them here, so we'll go over and see what's over there. Let me have some food and uh, we're going to head to playgrounds tomorrow morning. Yay! Hi! Hi! <laughs> yeah, how are you going? Alana also needed some things from town, so we headed to shore. Tua Puat is the main town for the Mentawa Islands. And yes, we've been here before if it looks familiar. Taking money off this guy. You ever seen that show back in the day? Um, that family show where he just keeps handing the money out, just like this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come to this conclusion, love and marriage.
chili, vegetable patty. out to paradise and some sunset beers and a little romantic cruise back around to Catalpa. Thanks guys. got a job now so I, I've got some friends on board as well so we're gonna go have some get some surf hopefully and hang out with them for the next two days and then we head off and they come back and don't know when we'll see them again. The playgrounds area gets its name from the fact that there are so many islands with so many different surf breaks. It's like a surfer's playground and this magical sounding place was only 20 nautical miles away but the wind and tide was against us which meant we were only going three knots and taking a lot longer than usual to get there. The kids spent most of the time doing some schoolwork and Lee was working out how we could go faster. We just arrived in the playgrounds, it took way longer than what we thought. We were punching into the wind a bit and there was current. It's taken us most of the day to get here. But we're about to go and find Paradise and Anchor Up. The islands look incredible, there's not much surf around, but I'm sure we can have a, a fun few days, a couple days. As soon as the wind turns around, we'll be on our way. So we just anchored up at Siama Island. And I'm going to let more chain out. <laughs> we just went up, uh, just on dark. Took way longer to get here than we thought, but it's pretty nice. It's beautiful. White sandy beaches, coconut trees, clear water. <laughs> and there's a surf bait just there, but it's very tiny. But you never know, tomorrow might have wave. So yesterday we came from here and we stopped here last night. No, we stopped here last night. And this morning we're heading over to where Paradise is. There's a surf break there. We didn't stop there or we didn't go over there because it's pretty open to the swell and pretty rolly so um, we opted to go tuck in behind this island. We had a good night's sleep and we're heading over now for a surf and to see these guys. We woke up to sunshine and a little bit of swell. Time to get wet. Driving up north on the trans Canada Highway The night is sweet, a thousand stars I'm driving up north on the trans Canada Highway The night is sweet, a thousand stars Should I stay with you, I know Should I stay for more Should I stay with you, I know now Don't want to leave anymore Want to be in the home of Love and lie with you I want to be in the home Oh, no. 
we, we just had a surf at Napusi, um, surf break, and um, it was good. There was a few people there, and it was little, but we're heading to Burgers. Burger? I don't know. Somewhere. Burger World. Burger World. And there. So yeah, another surf. We're gonna hang with them today, and then they'll be going back to Tua Kuat. And uh, we'll be heading north. See if we can get to Thailand. Hopefully we we'll get some southerly winds end of the season, or even just really light winds. That would be better than punching into it. So see how we go. But we're gonna enjoy today, have surf, hang with these guys, and um, we'll work the rest out tomorrow. So many beautiful islands. I'm so spilled we can't hang here longer. We just have to come back. So we're just coming into Burgers. What's it called? Burger? Burgers. Burger time? Burger something, was it? Bella's waxing up. She's getting ready for a bit of Burger World. We've just come from Nipussy to Burger World and it just looks like about three foot. Just fun. There was no mucking around. There were waves and we were out there. We had a great afternoon surfing Burger World. So we just had our final final drinks with the guys on Paradise. For a while anyway, for a while. And uh, yeah, these guys are staying in the Mentalis and uh, we're heading off. So we're splitting ways, which is really sad, but we've had an awesome time with these guys. And if you don't already follow them on their own YouTube channel, which is Sailing Paradise, go over there and subscribe now. <laughs> Do it <laughs> and support their journey because they're amazing and we love them and we just hope all the best, all Thanks the best guys. for the future. Love you. Bye. Bye. Same travels, guys. Zumba jumpa lagi. See you soon. Zumba jumpa. Yeah, we'll be back. Don't you worry. <laughs> So we're just about to pull anchor from Burger World, pull in anchor and uh, we're just moving to a anchorage that is a little less rolly away from the swell and it's only like five nautical miles away so yeah it should only take us an hour to get there, hopefully. So Paradise has just pulled anchor and they're about to sail away from us for the last time for a little while. We won't see these guys for a while, unless we get really strong winds and we have to turn around. Bye guys! Have fun! <laughs> so put anchor, wave goodbye, bye guys! We love you, we'll miss travelling with you. We had like the most awesome time travelling Indonesia with you guys. And We were rolling through the ages, taking bits and pieces, pages not so good with names or faces. Take a walk with Mother Nature, feel her inclination and become incapable of hatred. We can skip the arbitration, no concern for what you're chasing. I am chill, your heart is racing. Legends. Legends. Hey Bella. Cut my hair. Oh, Bella cut her hair. She wants to show everybody. These videos are made possible because of our patrons. Thank you all so very much. It all comes we on know. thanks to I scrubbed the bottom today and when we were motoring over here, I think we went about yeah. four knots. And we're going five. 4.8, 4.9, come on, go five. Close to five. There we go, we're going five knots, so my hard work must have paid off. Up next. Right, so this little island behind me, there, is actually called Snake Island. And uh, apparently it's home to lots of snakes, lots of sna sea snakes. Lee just went in there about 10 minutes ago. And he hasn't come back out. I'm a bit worried about him. Remember guys, if you like that video, please like and comment and share with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.